12th of September 20th, 2016, more than 2,000 county community and tribal members can access a safe park in our community. Pony Pride and Pony Nation Health Education, in collaboration with both the businesses and individuals and other Pony Nation programs, secured the funding for the construction of the Peapod Park. to have the grand opening of our park. Like Andrew said, it's been a year in the making and we've uh, spent a lot of time trying to figure out where we were gonna get funding and what we were gonna do and this is what has came about. Um, we have decided a name and the name of the park is gonna be Pita U Park, which means children's park in Pawnee, the Pawnee language. Um, we have a few people that we would like to give an extra thanks to. We have some certificates. So when we call your organization, um, please come up if there's somebody here from the organization and get your certificate. The first person, uh, the first group that we would like to thank is the Pawnee Nation Business Council. Um, Mr. Wildcat, if you want to accept the certificate for them. Um, without them, we wouldn't be able to have done this. They also they also provided a donation for the things that you see out here. The next group that we would like to thank is the Pawnee Nation Housing Authority. They were a huge donor for this project. The Pawnee Nation Department of Transportation. They leveled out all this ground for us. Um, and Chris and property, I don't know how many times we've called them and said, come help us. So they've been there willingly every time that we've called. Uh, property management. Uh, Pawnee Lakeside Rodeo Foundation. They 
donated the pavilion for us. The First National Bank of Pawnee. Is Patsy here? Patsy. She was. Uh, United Community Action Program. They gave us some uh, donation as well. Thank you. Um, Beverly Miner gave a donation. She's not here. I haven't seen her. And then the the company that did the installation of the uh, playground was Rex Playground and Equipment out of Oklahoma City. Um, we want to give them recognition. And then also the Pawnee Nation Tarot. They had four workers that were out here through the week, and they helped with every bit of the installation of the equipment out here. I haven't seen a representation from BUI, but Builders Unlimited Incorporated, they did the cement work for the pavilion, and we'll make sure that we get that certificate to them. Um, a few of the future plans that we have in mind, I know everybody's been like, you should do this and you should do that. We've thought of everything. Our thoughts are endless all the time for this playground. Um, right now, we're hopefully in the works of getting a basketball court, um, hopefully a full court. Um, we definitely have trash cans coming. They are on the way. We have some a park bench. It's going to be a handmade cut out in the back park bench like they have at the elementary school that'll have the park name and a, um, a wolf head on it. And then we will also have a contributor plaque out here that shows everybody's name that helped get this park established. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to actually have the ribbon cutting if we could get Mr. Uh, Wildcat to, to do that for us. We want some of the kids to come up and stand with Mr. Wildcat while we do the ribbon cutting. So if we could have several of the kids come up for the picture. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but we purchased a, a maple tree over there in memory of Marissa Campbell and her children that have been gone now for several years. So if anybody wants to dedicate shrubs or trees or, you know, anything to make it look more beautiful, you know, I, I, I think it would be a worthwhile thing to do. With the rise of obesity and diabetes, along with sedentary lifestyles becoming the norm in our society, we found this to be a challenge in promoting fitness. This is the first school playground in our community, and we were passionate about providing a safe, family-friendly location for our community members to utilize. The park is open to the public for reunions, birthday parties, cookouts, and special events. The park is centrally located next to our Tribal Police Department, providing a safe environment to families, also allowing program usage for work events such as our quarterly 5Ks. 